How does a chimney work, specifically industrial chimneys? A chimney is an equipment that is used to create natural draft for dispersion of flue gases, moisture or ash. It is generally done to avoid dangerous levels of concentration of harmful byproduct gases or pollutants at ground level. So it is obvious that they work in conjunction with some pollution control unit or system. So it basically brings down the level of uh, pollutants or toxic uh, air pollutants uh, at ground level. Well, this is the structure of a typical chimney. It basically consists of a cylinder stack, a flue opening which is marked in red, and uh, a manhole entry that is marked in green. Uh, the objective of the flue entry is to allow the entry of the flue gases and the manhole cover is provided for cleaning, maintenance and inspection of the chimney. Well, there are many variations in the design but this is a general structure. Uh, basically, in the flue opening, many times baffles are provided in order to regulate the uh, flow of the flue gases. Further, somewhere around the upper end of the, of the cylindrical stack, well, the question is, what drives the flue gases from bottom part of the chimney to the topmost part where it gets dispersed with the ambient air? Whether it is pressure difference between the ambient and the flue gas, or the density difference between the ambient gas and the flue gas, or it is the temperature difference between the ambient gas and the flue gas. Well, the answer is, it is ultimately the pressure difference between the ambient air and the flue gas that drives this flue gas out of the chimney. But let us explore the root cause. The flue gas is generally the end product of some process, maybe combustion, incineration or some chemical reaction. So it is generally at a higher temperature as compared to the ambient air. This temperature difference induces a difference in density between the flue gas and the ambient air and because of this density difference a pressure difference is created between the flue gas and the ambient gas. This pressure difference is responsible for the flow of fluid which in this case is the flue gas from the bottom part of the chimney to the topmost part so that it can get easily dispersed with the atmospheric air. Working principle. First of all we begin with legends that I have used in this calculation. Uh, one can pause the video and check it in their own comfortable time. Now, the pressure difference across the chimney can be given as the difference between the pressure of ambient air and the flue gas. Using the formula for hydrostatic pressure that is P is equal to HROG, uh, we come to this formula that is the pressure difference across the chimney is equal to H into G multiplied by rho ambient minus rho of fluid gas, fluid gas. Now in this relation we will try to substitute uh, rho f that is density of flue gas with some variable. So from ideal gas equation we can conclude that rho naught T naught that is the density and temperature of uh, ambient air is equal to rho f T f that is the density and temperature of flue gas. So writing the density of flue gas in terms of density of ambient air, temperature of ambient air and the temperature of flue gas. So ultimately we come at a formula that is the pressure difference across the chimney is ultimately dependent upon the temperature difference between the ambient and the flue gas. Because all these parameters H, density of ambient air and acceleration due to gravity these are all constants. So if someone asks what is the driving force behind the chimney? It is the difference in temperature between the ambient and the flue gas. It should be noted that the draft which we had calculated was a theoretical draft. But in an actual chimney, there is dynamic head loss due to sudden exit of the flue gases and also frictional head loss along the walls of the chimney. So the actual draft would be theoretical draft minus the dynamic head loss minus the frictional head loss. 
So ultimately, the theoretical draft is always greater than the actual draft that we get through a chimney. Now, in addition to this natural draft, in some cases, we use some fans and blowers in order to provide. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.